Awesome. Thank you very much, Tenny Tim. How are you all doing? My name is Max Gentleman. We are going to run Disney's Aladdin on the Super Nintendo today. Um, so if we just want to get started, uh, the countdown when I'll press uh, game start and I'll do a countdown now. So three, two, one, go. So if you haven't seen Aladdin, then I'll explain the story for you. It's pretty simple. This guy's a homeless dude who wants to live better things and he basically runs into Princess Jasmine from the palace. We are going to just be doing some basic platforming. Most of the levels are left to right. Uh, there is some side scrollers and we'll just take it as it comes. Um, which I think we do have a couple of base mechanics. Uh, we do have the cape as you can see which is basically a rug or a carpet or whatever you want to call it. Um, and that helps us float through the air. By spamming it, it helps push us a little forward. Um, and we're going to be spamming that as much as possible. Uh, we don't want to be walking up slopes because it slows our movement down. And we basically want to just keep jumping and spamming as much as possible when we're in the air. Um, we do also have apples, which do hit bad guys but does not kill most of the guards. In fact, all of the guards. Um, the only bad guys it tends to kill is the little pot chickens. So it's not so bad. Um, ideally, the game will go through the main story. As you can see, we are doing Acrobat first, uh, which will be followed by Cave of Wonders, Lava Cave of Wonders, and Enter the Genie. Um, there is an area that I don't remember from the film, um, so that is going to be Chapter 5. Uh, we do have a whole new world level. No, they will not be singing because... No. <laughs> Um, and then there'll be the palace in the end where we will take on Jafar in regular form and snake form. So it's going to be really, really good, really fun and really simple. Um, if you do are interested in speedrunning Aladdin after this run, there is loads of resources on the speedrun leaderboard. Um, there's also an insane world record run that is 16 minutes and 3 seconds uh, run by the Hulk and I would definitely recommend checking that out. Uh, this will be nothing close to that, sadly, but uh, it's definitely a great game and a really fun game to speedrun. Uh, so we're just going to fight this guy here who does not understand social distancing and knowing that the coronavirus is here. He just wants to hit us and cough on us and get in the way while we are trying to save Jasmine. Um, there is some title cut screens, cut, cut screens, cut scenes, um, and we're going to try and skip by them as much as possible because they are just text and they are skippable. They do show us some art from the movie, nothing special. So it's, this one will be looking over Acrobat, uh, and there'll be a few others like the Exploding Lava and Cave of Wonders and things like that. Uh, so we do have Cave of Wonders here, a few damage boosts and just some more platforming. And that is pretty much it. Uh, the good thing is, is most of the music is similar to the movie, minus the lyrics. Oh, that's not good. Um, but it's always good just to have that to kind of help us get through. We are just trying to set up this scorpion, which we got. Um, he can be a pain and actually slow us down. I actually wanted that gem. Uh, collecting 100 gems does give us an extra heart piece. So extra heart pieces are extra hits which is really, really good when we get to the later fights, the last two Jafar fights especially. Um, red gems are worth three and green gems are worth one. Um, I should actually mention there that if we sprung the cut the cutscene where Rug was going to come up and Abu was off screen, he would actually change from running to walking, um, which is a reason why I didn't trigger the magic carpet spawning straight away um, because Abu would actually continue to run off screen to catch up with us. So it's kind of good to mention that. There is a really insane damage boost you can do here off those spikes to actually go through that pillar. Um, however, if you mess up, you fall through the logs into the water, which is instant death. There's no recovery. So I'm not going to do that because I am terrible at it. <laughs> and as much as I'm all up for taking a risk, I actually need my life to be safe for chapter four so that I can get a pattern set by the genie through obstacles, so uh, we're kind of going to play safe there. Um, I hope everyone can hear me okay, my throat is a bit gubbed, I'm on the strepsils, try to play it cool, but I'm in a lot of pain. <laughs> oh. 
So there is bonus levels in this game, but we're not going to be doing any. Um, if you remember from the film at the beginning, Jafar has this little scarab uh, jewel, um, and when he puts the two pieces together, it flies around and it becomes the eyes of the Game of Wonders and it opens the Game of Wonders. In levels, you can find the scarab in chests, and it opens the bonus level and it gives you additional heart pieces, additional lives, continues, and all that sort of stuff. It's, it's a pretty cool layout. The genie's on like a sort of gambling roulette wheel with options, and then you decide when it stops and you have a chance again what you would like. Um, we're not going to do that because it's in between stages and it does waste a lot of time. Um, however, uh, if I accidentally get one, then oh well. <laughs> um, but I ideally, we would avoid every chest that they're in because we know what chests they're in. Um, so, this is a side scroller. The problem with the lava is if we take a hit, Normally, like damage boost, like we, we get some iframes and we can just play it safe and collect bread. Um, sorry, we can play it safe and just jump onto the next platform. However, with lava, if we take a hit and then fall into the lava, we instantly die. We don't take an, another. We don't take another hit. Um, so we need to be careful. No matter how many hearts we have, we will just fall directly into the lava. Um, there is lava pillars eventually, um, but we would just fall right through them if we had already taken a hit and we're currently recovering from said hit. Um, we are just on the way to collecting 100 gems at the moment. Uh, ideally I play around 5 heart pieces, I know that the route intended is for 6, so you can do really nice damage boosting on the final boss. Um, I really struggle with that, so I'm probably not going to try it, um, but I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable with the 5 and I play it pretty safe on the, the final boss. What happens when Aladdin gets all the Chaos Emeralds? Uh, I mean Super Aladdin? Blonde hair, you know? I, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. I, I would say like his hair would go blonde and he would like go Super Aladdin, not need the flying carp or the genie, but we could get like some sort of Dragon Ball fusion with the genie, you know, like Aladdin genie combo. But we'll never know. Um, this, this level as well, another side scroller. Um, it's actually a one hit KO, so if you take a hit from the lava or the rocks or you crash into anything, it's, it's instant death. Um, ideally, uh, you just don't want to get hit, however the level is really easy, um, even though my hands are really shaking right now, but uh, yeah, it's pretty easy and you can get through it quite, quite simple. Um, so what happens when all gets up in the Genesis version? Uh, no, this is the Super Nintendo version. I think the Genesis version you have a sword, if I'm correct. Uh, I did get the Lion King Aladdin combo for the Switch and it had the other version. Um, which ideally I'm not a fan of but I will probably learn to run at some point because I'm currently learning the Lion King on that version. Uh, so so it, could be, it could be something I do in the future. Um, but no, this is, the, this is the Super Nintendo version. So ideally what we wanted was for our lives to set up these obstacles here, it'll be clouds, rings and cards. Cards we bounce on, rings we swing on and clouds we can stand on. Um, ideally we don't want to get too confident, confident. Um, I actually almost fell off. Uh, because if we fall down then it's, then it's death. Um, at, level, at zero lives left we actually get all clouds which is really slow. So. We kind of want to get through that first time and I think if you collect an extra life, which is the reason why I didn't collect the extra life at the beginning of the game, um, it would give me a different pa pattern also. I've only ever done it a few times and I can't remember if that's correct but I think it does change up the pattern. Um, ideally this run is going alright. <laughs> um, I actually have a run killer coming up uh, which is the start of the next stage. Um, there's these genie face platforms where he has his tongue sticking out and he retracts his tongue and I almost always fail it most most times so fingers crossed we, we get it. Oh no, no! <laughs> I knew I was going to fail it, I knew I was going to fail it, but it's okay because that was the last one. I even, I did miss the backup as well, like I came down too low and when the 
pot chicken is high enough, you can actually reach the platform I was reaching for. So it's unfortunate, but we did save it. This is actually my favourite stage, even though it's the one I die on the most. So it's not so bad. Sorry, I'm just, I'm trying to concentrate on this stage because it's like, if I fall, like, I'm most likely going to die and start again. Now that the game uses Super Ghosts and Ghosts engines, does it? Ah. Gen Genesis, sorry, I'm reading the chat and like, Genesis version has blast processing. Oh man, okay. So this area, I don't remember it from the film, it's some weird palace that isn't the Sultan's palace. Uh, we can actually run through some bad guys here, which is pretty good. So, this stage isn't really that tough, but the next two can be quite difficult. Um, these ledges you can't actually grab onto, so falling there would be death as well. <sighs> so get some more pot chickens, we're just going to set these up. We do have backup apples in here, because we do need apples uh, in the next stage. Uh, I'm just going to take a damage here, so I can jump up here, that's fine. There's a turkey we're going to pick up. Uh, turkeys will fill our health up, which is really, really good. Um, I have, like, safeties in place, <laughs> so that if I don't do anything perfect, then I can, uh, kind of, like, just fall back on it. And that turkey is, like, one of my main ones. It's from Aladdin 2? Okay, okay. What is the Aladdin 2, like uh, Return of Jafar, where he's he's got like the little thief as his, where he's the genie to the little thief, is that the second one? I know King of Thieves is the, thir the third one. Here. Oh, sorry, no worries. So, if you pause just now and then we'll. A frozen feed here, so. Yeah, no worries at all. Is it something on my end or. No, I don't believe so. We're just okay. going to get it sorted right. Okay, I think we fixed it. Yep. Okay, hang on a second. I'm just going to wait 
Let's see if it comes back. I think it's okay now. Right. I'll count you in. On, well, the time is still going, so just just restart. Yeah, no, just carry on from where you're going. Yeah. yeah no worries. That's chill. No worries. Oh Sorry well, it's okay. They they they, they missed my most hated stage. So I'm I'm cool with that. <laughs> Good stuff. This is this is where I pretend that I sang the song, you know, and the whole time. <laughs> so this is the palace. It's just three levels of platforming, and then we will take on Jafar. Um, there is a quick kill for Jafar phase one. Uh, it is quite difficult. I fail it a lot, but we will attempt it. So fingers crossed, we do get that. Um, we are going to take a damage boost. So the spike damage boost I told you could makes us go through a. A spike, uh, like a pillar earlier on, we use it to go through that um, platform, um, and it's not that difficult. It, like you literally take a damage, stand up, and proceed to move forward. Um, as far as the spike on the log, uh, I don't really know how that one works, and I really struggle with it. Um, I'm actually quite happy I didn't get hit by that skull because <laughs> I normally do. So this one again, there's going to be lanterns that we can swing from, but they take time, so we're not going to do that. Um, the next level, however, there is fire, so there's so we're going to be seeing rising fire on the stage. For some reason, it's not immediately right at the start of the level, but it, it's there nonetheless. Uh, let's see if we could get this. We didn't get it, but we'll take the second one. Um, oh, okay. Um, so there is going to be rise of fire, so we need to be really careful because again, if we take a hit um, and then fall into the fire when it's at its highest, I'm pretty sure we just die. Oh, so I'm going to try and get through here. Uh, we do have a backup turkey. Turkey's good for you. That's what we want. There we go. And we are just coming up for the fight now. So we'll take a little damage boost here. And we are good. There is a bread in there. We're not going to take it. Because if we fail the quick kill, we're not going to go for it again. We're just going to play it safe. So we got Jafar phase one. He does give us the chickens though. <sighs> ah, I'm not going to get it. Ah, I was one hit short. So we just need to play it cool. I wasn't jumping correctly to not take the damage for it, but it's not the end of the world. So Jafar is dead. But we got we got most of the quick kill, minus one hit, so we'll take it, we'll take it. I always mess up and run. So regardless of that, you know, like, we'll take it. One gem for our efforts, boys. Uh, we're going to get safety turkey. Man, Aladdin does love that turkey. I actually had like these turkey burrito things tonight, like my girlfriend made me, and oh, they were good. So, we are just going to play it safe. He will fling eggs from his mouth, we'll use them to reach the top of his head. Also, his tail will spring up eventually, and we'll also use that to jump on his head. He does kind of attack us, like with like with his mouth, and um, where he does lunge forward. But ideally, that's just another opportunity to jump on his head like that. So two hits. Uh, time will be on the eighth hit. So three, four, five. Give us a big bounce. Six. Am um, I getting this? Nope. That one will do. Seven and. Time. And that is pretty much Aladdin. It's really easy. Um, it's really fun. It is my casual speedrunning game uh, for many reasons. It is the one that I like to do my, have my downtime on from doing randomizers. Um, and it is a really good game to learn uh, if you are wanting to get into speedrunning. It was the first game that I learned to speedrun. Um, so if you would like to get that, the speedrun.com leaderboard does have some really good information and videos so that you can learn the game um but no thank you so much for checking out aladdin thanks for watching my run and definitely stay on for the rest of the disney block and the rest of the whole marathon um it'll be great so no thank you very much and uh thanks again uh guys
Thank you very much for the run, Max. I've really appreciated that. No worries. No worries.